Hey, what's up, guys? Ira94 back with another action figure review. Today, we're looking at the Medicom Mayfex Cyclops X Men figure. This is the comic version. Uh, this is following the comic version of Wolverine, so the Jim Lee style for these, and these have been long awaited. So, as you can see, here is the front of the box showing the figure and all its contents. I like the comic style box, just like the Wolverine. Here is the side of the box, or at least one side. And then here is the other side. On the back side, we get some more images of the figure itself. So first impressions, I like it. Simple as that. Now let's check out the figure's accessories. He comes with a lot of fun stuff, so I like uh, figures that come with a lot of accessories with, you know, heads and effects. So first we'll get with the boring stuff or the basic stuff. We have the pair of fists on the figure itself. And then we get a pair of open hands, just like that. And then we get a pair of index and middle finger pointing hands like this. Obviously we know this is for his poses when he is using his uh, laser effect. And then we have the actual beam effect right here. So we have this one right here. As you see the paint is from white to red, or the plastic is a transparent clear red, but then they painted um, over it with some white. And then here we have this effect. So you can see it's more widespread. So you get two options here, so that's cool. Same effect on both. And this attaches not to that head, but to this visor here. So you see there is a little peg hole or gap for you to stick one of these things in there and I'm going to show you the head on the figure itself first this is one head you get and you get this head with the little smoke effect coming off of his visor which is awesome this is the fun stuff I'm talking about here and then lastly we get the head with the glasses very cool and because he's got glasses on I mean his visor is off as you can see you get a little visor collar type thing where it's just hanging from his neck because he's not wearing it because he's got the glasses of course so that's cool and last but not least we get a base a stand right here in that little clip to hold the figure if you need a baser stand so does he have a crazy amount of accessories no but he has a decent amount and i'm happy with what he comes with here's a close shot of the figure so now we're going to take a closer look at him check out what Mayfix has to offer for their Cyclops. We've been waiting for this figure for quite some time. We're pretty excited for it, so let's check it out. Head sculpt. I like it. I like the hair sculpt. You see the brown and the black. I like the paint on there. And the face, at least this neutral face, looks good. Of course, with my lovely luck that I always get with figures, mine has, very hard to see though, some paint chipped off of the nose. So it's just a black dot there. It's not a smudge or anything. I try to scratch it off. No, it's actual paint missing. That's unfortunate. But at least it's very small. Can't really tell right now, see? So could be worse, I guess. As for the torso, I like it. I like the paint they chose. It's a darker blue with some uh, shading on there. The yellow is nice, too. You can see down here. This leg does have some random, a random paint spot right here. Nothing, nothing crazy though. I don't mind it. And down to the boots, the ankles, the arms, and then the back. Overall, the sculpt looks good. I like the figure. So let's check out his articulation. I want to see what he has here. He's got a peg, so a ball peg for the neck. So that pops back in. So this head can go down and the only reason why is because his neck is articulated. So the neck is what pretty much hinges his head down, which is fine by me. It also helps him look up because as you see, it pops off if you go too far back. But there he is looking up and it's all because of the neck right there. The head will tilt because of the neck. It goes left and right and of course the neck is quite beautiful so I like the neck articulation the arms are gonna go forward and back now let's see if we can go through this articulation without any limbs popping off as you can remember the Mayfex Wolverine I think the arms were popping off on that one or the leg I think it was the arms but let's see so the arm goes forward and back 
in and out about this far. That's pretty good. I like the butterfly joint. Look at that. So you can move his arm in front of him like this, extend it out. And that goes for both. So he can hug Jean Grey when he wants. And that goes back as well. So let's get it, get it back there. Very nice articulation there. And then we have the bicep swivel, double jointed elbow swivel at the wrist with a hinge. We have a diaphragm joint that swivels left and right. And keep in mind, we do get this harness here and it's still not hindering it too bad. Goes back and forward. We do get the waist swivel too, so that helps with some more of the movement on the torso. So I'm pretty happy with this torso movement, if you ask me pretty good and so far nothing's loose nothing has popped off either the legs here it looks like we get some SHV art style legs it looks very similar to the SHV arts design uh, and that is it drops down and up so you can extend it some more this groin area is a soft plastic so it's a little pliable so you can move the legs without hindering it too bad so the legs kick forward goes back they go in and out and there's the first pop off limb <laughs> goes to the leg uh, this one there you go so you can stretch out about that far you gotta move it back here and we get a thigh swivel there it goes all right so we get a thigh swivel at the leg double jointed knees get the ankle on a hinge it rocks left and right we get a swivel and then we get the toe hinge at the foot so here's a quick look at the ion bean here coming off of his visor. So I did attach the other visor, obviously, and I attached the effect piece. And then there's the hand. So this is the uh, more skinny version. Then here we have the bigger version. As you can see, the head can still hold the weight, which is nice. I like that they made it strong enough. So can you put the beam effects into this head? Yes, you can, of course. But I'm going to give you guys a warning here. Please be careful with this effect piece it will snap off very small uh, piece of plastic holding that thing to the visor it's gonna snap be careful do not pull it from the effect piece I kinda made the mistake and it kinda cracked a little bit I know it's like halfway snapped open I have to glue it back um, very uh, scary I guess it sucks you know but uh, yeah, just be careful. Hopefully you're seeing this video before you get your figure because a lot of people are going to make that mistake. I can see it right now. So this is going to make it very difficult for me to pull this visor off. I got to pull it from the plastic, the yellow plastic visor piece without touching this effect piece because it's going to, it's going to snap on me. So, um, and with my luck, this visor is probably in there real tight. All right. So I got it off and I literally had to use a Gomez surfboard or hoverboard to pry it open because I was scared to get my fat big old thumbs in there um, and I just pushed it on this edge I pushed it on the other edge and I made sure it didn't slip off and you know snap it out so yes this is gonna break a lot on people um, yeah so now if we want we can use this head of course with the mouth open to put the effect piece beam effect on and of course this will make more sense because he is showing his teeth it's open it looks like he's exerting force as he should be and good and that goes vice versa too so the, the visor with the smoke effect can go on to the neutral head whoops not that one this head right here as you can see here is the final look with the final head and there you can see the visor around his neck so right off the bat we're going to have a comparison next to the other Jim Lee Cyclops figures. We have the Marvel Legends from the Warlock Build-A-Figure Wave on the very left side. And then we have the Mezco 112 Collective on the very right side. There, they are all very different from each other. With Marvel Legends, as you can see, the yellow, or orange if you want to say with this version, uh, it's very different than the yellow on the other two figures. Marvel Legends does not come with any beam effects uh, at all or alternate heads. This Mesco version comes with the jacket as an optional piece where you have to buy a separate figure for this uh, jacket with Marvel Legends and there is no option currently with Mafex to have it with a jacket. You can get Scott Summers with sunglasses with Mafex and Marvel Legends if you get the three pack version. 
And if you're looking for multiple hand accessories and beam effects, you're going to have to go with Mafex and Mezco 112 Collective. So with all price points aside, there is just something with the Marvel Legends version that always catches my eye. And it's such a great figure. It's only lacking extra hands, heads, and uh, effects. Now overall, I do believe that these three are great looking figures in their own right. So it's actually very difficult for me to choose one over the other. There's just things I like more on some and each one there's something that I like. I do feel like the Mafex one gives it that animated slash video game look a little bit more than the other two. I feel like the Marvel Legends version gives it more of a realistic look and so does the Mezco 112 of course with the actual soft goods. But going back to Mafex I do feel like that one's more of a cartoony animated slash comic book likeness. So obviously if we're taking price point into consideration Marvel Legends at the time I picked that one up it was $20 so for the price definitely Cyclops with from the Warlock wave is well worth your money. Even if you missed out on that one you still have a chance of picking up the three pack version although you are stuck with that having the jacket attached to the body. Mezco and Mafex are around the same price range Mezco being $100 and the Mafex one actually being below that, but after shipping overseas or even having it imported uh, and buying it from a US retailer like Big Bad Toy Store, it's going to run you around 90 to close to $100 just like the Mezco version. Now the Mezco version has a light up feature in the visor, so that is a plus there if you're into that kind of stuff. If you don't care for it, then you should already be good with these two on the left side. So just a quick setup with Wolverine here. This is the Mafex Wolverine. So they do, of course, look good together since they're part of the same line, if you want to say. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then we have him here next to a couple of other Marvel Legends. We have Jean Grey from the Return of Marvel Legends, and we have the Jim Lee Wolverine. I believe was the Apocalypse build a figure wave. Here we have Rogue and Weapon X. And then here we have the Marvel Legends Captain America 80th Anniversary on the right and the Mafex Spider-Man on the left. And for our random comparison, we have the NECA Foot Soldier and the Star Wars The Black Series Mandalorian. Alright guys, and that's going to conclude my review of the Metacom Mafex X-Men Cyclops comic version. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, have a great day. Bye. That's crispy.